In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text to your videos in Premiere Pro so that you can start laying down those steezy title sequences just like this. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tyler White and here on this channel, I teach tutorials on video editing. And I also have a background of about eight years of editing video. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you can become a part of the team today. And while you're at it, make sure to hit the bell button so that you get notified every time we post a video. All right, so once we have Premiere opened up, the first thing we need to do is grab our footage, drag it over into our timeline. Next, we're gonna go up to File, New, Legacy Title. And then we're gonna just make sure our video settings are correct. And we'll go ahead and title this. Press OK. It's going to open up our video editor and as you can already see, lots of ways to edit our text already. But the first thing we need to do is we need to create our text. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our title tool is selected and we're going to click on our video. Gonna make our title real quick. We can change our font real quick as well. And what we want to do is select all of our characters and I'm going to change the spread to 65 and the font size to about 65 as well so that we can make it look nice and steezy. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust our position so we can use the Y position or the X position or we can go right over here to center and use the center tool and that's gonna lock it dead to center. So as you can see, this video is a little bit overexposed. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna add a drop shadow to prevent my text from blending in with the background. I'm gonna just change the opacity to about 45. All right, and you, you can make all kinds of adjustments in here. Don't be afraid to jump in here and play around with the settings, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this for now. We'll go ahead and press the X, and then we'll drag this title over top of our text. So the first thing, we wanna stretch it out completely, and then I'll show you how I did that title sequence now. So we'll go up to the editing tab. We're gonna make sure that we select our title. And we're gonna press the stopwatch to create a keyframe. First thing you wanna do is you wanna drag the scale all the way up to where you don't see the text anymore. That's going to be your first keyframe. Then we'll go up about six frames and then we'll change this back down to 100. It's going to bring our text right back to center. And this is something that I do. You don't have to necessarily do so, but I like constant motion with my text whenever it flies in like that. So I'm just going to drop this scale to about 95 once I go to the end of the clip and create keyframe at the very end so there's constant motion throughout the entire clip. Uh, let you guys see this real quick. Might be kind of hard to tell but you'll definitely be able to see it in post. Alright, so let's go ahead and show you guys the second way of making text. So the first thing you want to go down here to the type tool. I'm going to click on our video, make our title. Alright, next you want to go up here to the graphics tab. Once you have the graphics tab open up, you're gonna go over here to Essential Graphics. You're gonna go over to Edit, ensuring that you're selected on your text here. As you can see, all these ways that we can edit our text as well. So if we wanna adjust the opacity, we can do that, just scroll back and forth. But what I wanna do first is I wanna adjust our font. And we'll just throw a quick font on there real quick. As you can see, I'll open up another one, just delete that. Make sure that you select characters. And we're gonna change that to All right, and then in here as well, you can center it up using the center tool. And I can create that spread distance if I want. So, pretty good and then we'll recenter it just to make sure everything's perfect and as you see down here as well you can add a stroke or a shadow as well so if I want to add a stroke or a drop shadow I can do that there as well instead of making a separate text I'm going to go up here and then we want to go over to the editing tab again and once we click on our central graphic we can drag this over drag it to the end of our clip and then we can go down and we can do even more adjustments. All right, so if we want to do this specific adjustment, all we have to do is the same. So if we want to do this for the title sequence, click on the, the stopwatch, scale it all the way in to where you can't see the text anymore, go up about six frames, bring it back down to 100, 
you go to the end of the clip, set a keyframe for 95, and watch it play back. It looks pretty good. Which method do you prefer? Legacy title or essential graphics? And do you have any other tips on this topic? Let us know in the comments below. Some of the best tips and conversation is happening in the comments section. So definitely engage down there and be a part of this community. Okay, so that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, slap a like on it because that lets me know that these videos are helpful. And don't forget to subscribe because we got more videos like this coming soon. Also, let me know in the comments what future videos you wanna see. Thank you guys so much again. Keep killing in your videos and I'll see you soon. Telling lies about something real But I know love is based on